This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning everyone. Shalom Aleichem. We have a very interesting subject today. Today we're doing the Sugya of Ben Azai. The Gemara said on Daf uh, Samach Gimel Amud Beis that a drasha, Kol mi she'en oisek b'peri v'rivya, ki ilu shoyfech domim. Kol mi she'en oisek b'peri v'rivya, m'ma'ed b'dmus. Ben Azai said both. Somebody who is not oisek b'peri v'rivya, it's a tantamount to shvichas domim, and it's m'ma'ed b'dmus. So they told Ben Azai, Nice drasha, you don't fulfill it yourself. And Ben Azai uttered the famous words, What could I do? My soul desires Torah. Which is half of a fella. Can somebody say, Hey pal, why, are you, why aren't you putting on tefillin? Why aren't you wearing tzitzis? Puravu is a mitzvah like any other. There is no rule that Torah exempts you from any mitzvah. In fact, even though in general there's a rule of Oisek b'mitzvah, Pater b'na mitzvah, that does not apply to Talmud Torah. We don't say when it comes to Talmud Torah, Oisek b'mitzvah, Pater b'na mitzvah. Why then does Ben Azai have this justification? That's today's subject. Um, maybe in the end we'll discuss until what age is a person uh, allowed to delay being Oisek in Puravu for the sake of Limad Torah. Okay, so the, we'll start with the Rambam. The Rambam says, A man has to get married, a woman doesn't have to get married. Now it's difficult because uh, that's not actually true. Because a man has a Chiv of a woman does not, but a woman does have the Chiv of L'Sheves Yitzara. Now, when is a man chayim even shvaesrei at seventeen? V'kiven shavru esim shanu lenasi isha reza oivrim vatel mitzvah sase at age twenty you already mavatel the mitzvah. But v'm hayo oisik b'tayra if somebody was learning or v'tarad ba and he's very immersed in it v'hayo misyari milisa isha he's afraid to get married kedei shaloi yitarach b'mezoynos b'avarishta he's going to have to be matriach in mezoynos v'yavatel menatayra. Hareze mutter lehis acher. You're allowed to delay. Sha oisek be mitzvah, pater mina mitzvah. One who is involved in doing a mitzvah is pater from a mitzvah. But kosher came with Talmud Torah. So Ramam says a whopper of a chidush. But let's say somebody's a young man and he's afraid at age 20 that if he gets married, he's going to have to make a parnasa, he's going to have to support his wife. And he will not be able to devote himself wholeheartedly to limit Torah. He's allowed to delay getting married because he's Oisek B'Torah. And we apply the rule Oisek B'Mitzvah, Pater Mina Mitzvah. And certainly by Talmud Torah. Now this is a Pele, because everybody knows that Oisek B'Mitzvah, Pater Mina Mitzvah does not apply to Talmud Torah. We never say if someone's in learning, he could continue learning and not fulfill other mitzvahs. And yet the Rambam says one is allowed to... Delay getting married because oisik be mitzvah pater mina mitzvah. Then the Rambam continues, Umi shechashka nafshay betar, someone who truly desires Torah. His soul desires Torah. Tamid, always, v'shoy geba, he's madly in love with it. Keben azai, v'davik ba kol yamav, and he clings to it all his days. V'loy nasa isha, and he doesn't get married. In biyaday avin, it's not a sin. The Taz, by the way, says, but you can't do it l'charchila. Just as it's not a sin, but the Eved, but not l'charchila, you could not get married. Now this is provided you don't have improper thoughts of him. Even if you're not Shechoshka Batara. The question is, what is the heter that the Ramam is giving that someone who is chashka nafsha b'tayra does not have to be oisik and puravu. We know the Rambam has already said you're allowed to delay getting married because of the mitzvah of Talmud Torah. Oisik b'mitzvah patr b'na mitzvah. Apparently, one could argue that we see from the Rambam the following chiddush. The reason why, if I'm middle of learning, I can't say, well, I'm middle of learning, I'm not going to put on tefillin, is because we say, we say 
Pal, put on tefillin and go back to your learning. Put on tefillin, sit in the sukkah and go back to your learning. All the mitzvahs are temporary. The mitzvahs are performed and then you could be yachzer lelimudai. However, when it comes to the mitzvah puravu, where once you get married, you are now permanently responsible to support your family and you're going to be putting Talmud Torah aside, then we don't say, Oisek b'mitzvah patr mena mitzvah. Then we, excuse me, we say, Oisek b'mitzvah patr mena mitzvah. In other words, the reason why in general, when it comes to Talmud Torah, we say, we do not apply Oisek b'mitzvah patr mena mitzvah, is because, you could, what do you mean, Oisek b'mitzvah patr mena mitzvah? So you'll, you'll, you'll get back to your learning momentarily. The reason why in general, Oisek mitzvah patr mena mitzvah does not apply by Talmud Torah, is stop what you're doing and you'll get back to what you're learning, but that doesn't apply in getting married because getting married is a very significant break from what you're doing. You can't say, okay, get married and then you'll get back to your learning. No, you'll never get back to your learning again. So therefore, the, the Ramam seems to apply Oisek B'mitzvah Patr Mitzvah to Talmud Torah. So let's look at the Shulchan Aruch HaRav. Shulchan Aruch HaRav and Hilchus Talmud Torah says, "Call me Shadaytoi v'Koyach Zechroi No Yafe." Anyone who his das and his memory is good, Sheyachal Lilmoid, that he's able to learn, the Lizkar Kolat Torah, and to remember the whole Torah Shabbat Peh. In other words, someone who has uh, prowess in learning, that he could learn and remember the whole Torah Shabbat Peh. Hareza Lo Yisa Isha. Cannot get married. Ad Torah Until he first learns the whole Torah. Shein kol ha'halachos b'tamein. The whole Torah means learning all 613 mitzvahs with their reasonings. B'derach k'tzayra. Shein perush kol tayag mitzvahs. Which is a commentary on all 613 mitzvahs. B'tina ehen. In their stipulations. V'dikdukeyen. And their details. V'dikduke soifrim. And then get married. And then be involved afterwards. Based on his availability. The psak of the Shulchan Aruch Harav is, before one gets married, they have to master the whole Torah. Because a Jew has to learn Kala Torah Kula. Now Kala Torah Kula is not a major... Uh, undertaking, all you need to do is learn what the 613 mitzvahs are and their reasoning. So you learn the Sefer Achinuch and then you could get married. But before you learn the Sefer Achinuch, you may not get married. Because if you get married first and you're going to have the millstone around your neck, which is Tirdas Parnasas Ishtai, you're going to have to support your wife, Ubanav, Vilayucha Lasak Batar Karoi, Kokach, Lilmoid. If you get married first, you'll never then be able to sit down and master all 613 mitzvahs. And the primary Torah Peh. Therefore, the great mitzvah procreation is delayed for learning Torah. Afshi Gedolami Kol Mitzvahs. Even though having children is the greatest of all the mitzvahs, it's not greater than learning. So the first responsibility is learn. Learn means learn kala tarakula. Kala tarakula means all 613 mitzvahs b'pei rusheyen. Then you can get married. Says the says Shachanach HaRav, V'hu she'en yitzvah mezgabra alav. You can only delay if the Yitzhah will not uh, rule over you. And you'll be able to learn with pure thoughts. Raksha writes, Elisa, just you want to get married to have children. You're potter, because it's pushed off from Talmud Torah, which is the equivalent of all 613 mitzvahs. Aye, but what do you mean? Don't we usually say you're mevato from Torah to Mikhaim a mitzvah? That's only a mitzvah that right after the mitzvah you can get back to the learning. But any mitzvah that is a permanent hiatus from learning, of course you can't stop learning. We only say 
that you're mavatel and you're mavsik from Talmud Torah, from Kaim and Mitzvah, she'ev shel ha'sesedechem that cannot be done through others. In other words, Shachan Aruch Harab is saying that why am I telling somebody to delay having children to master the Torah? We know we interrupt uh, Torah for any mitzvah. The answer is, that's only... That's only to interrupt for a short amount of time. That's only when you're just stopping the learning for a momentarily. And the Shonar Haraf says on the next page, in other words, you're allowed to be mevatel, the mitzvah of the higisa boy, yoyman valayla, to be mekayim mitzvahs. But you're not allowed to be mevatel, the mitzvah of knowing the Torah, be'er heitev, to be mekayim any mitzvah. Bottom line is, aside from the mitzvah of learning the higisa boy, yoyman valayla, which that you could push away to perform any mitzvah, there's another mitzvah, and that is you have to know the Torah. And getting married precludes knowing the Torah. And therefore, first you must know the Torah, and then and only then you could get married. That is the Psaq of the Shulchan Acharav. This din of Oiseik be mitzvah, Pater Menah Mitzvah, when we say that does not apply to Talmud Torah, it does not apply to the mitzvah of Higisa Ba'yoyim Valayla. But the mitzvah of Yediyas HaTorah takes priority over Pruravu. So the Shulchan Aruch Harav writes in his Perush on the bottom, let me just see how I can make this a little bigger. Uh, could you see this now? Yeah. Let me try some one more thing. Okay, here we go. He says like this, V'hatam Perush HaMarambam Tchila. The reason why, the Rambam says originally, Sha Isaac B'Mitzvah Pater. V'yav Shem Evatlin Tamatar L'Mitzvah Sheyesh Al-Sadei Acherem. Even though Mevatel Torah for mitzvah that others can't do, like the Gemara says in many places, to make a sukkah, a lulav. Hainul hafsik l'fisha, that's to interrupt temporarily. Uzman ma ve'achar kach choiz l'tamudai. Avaloi liyois rechayim mitzavorei. But not to have a permanent mill around your neck. Shubitol tamid oilamis v'yachal v'yuchal lava l'yidei shikha l'shkoyach d'vei Torah harbei. When you not be able to go back to your learn karoi ve'en yediyas hatoyer nidches v'mnei mitzvah zu de pruravu. The the mitzvah of knowing Torah is not pushed off because of the mitzvah pruravu. Avshi evsher lasa sadechim even though no one else could have children for you. K'moy she'ena nidches betchilas limudai shal adam. Sha'amru yom mai tar v'achakach yisa. Meaning the same way we tell a person, Yomai Torah v'achakach yisa isha. Likewise, if your Yediyas HaTorah will be affected, you push off Puravu. Meaning, question, from the, a, a person could get married when they're 10 years old. Why not? It's a mitzvah in the Torah, let them get married. Oh, they can't have children. Okay, forget about children, what about the mitzvah of getting married? And says, we don't do that. They have a mitzvah of Talmud Torah, which takes precedence. Why? That means Talmud Torah pushes off the mitzvah. Or even, let's say, when they're 13 and they could have children, technically. Why don't we say, okay, you have a chiyav. So, you're putting on tefillin, pruravu. The answer is, because the mitzvah of Yediyas HaTorah, they didn't learn Chumash, they learned Mishnah, they learned Gemara. That takes priority. So even if somebody is 20, if they have not yet mastered Kala Torah they have to do so first and then get married. Don't say it's because you could be Mekayim Pru Urvu later. That's not the reason, because nobody knows how long they're going to live. Atu miyeda kamachaye vimkein huadin achar shalamad so too, says the Shulchan Acharab, after a person learned, Im Yishkach Talmudai, if he forgets his learning, Doimel Isha Sheyoledes V'Kaiberes, it's like a woman who gave birth and buried the child. V'hainu Taimo Deben Azai, Ah! Based on this understanding, that the mitzvah of Yediyas HaToyra is more important than Puravu, this explains Ben Azai. L'Harambam, 
Shaloi nasa la'olam, mishum do la'olam yesh lachos l'shikcha. We know the way Torah works is, calls man she'en o'osik v'talmud Torah, you're going to forget. If you're not always reviewing, then you're forgetting. Like the Rambam says, one is chayiv to learn Torah, ad yoy moisai, she'kos man she'en o'loy meid shecheach. Ve'afilu b'shecheach, what does that say? Even if you forget one thing, you're liable for your soul, the over belav. Okay, so that's the pshat in Ben Azai. Ben Azai was of the opinion that for anybody else, first they have to learn Kala Torah Kula. Because before you learn Kala Torah Kula, Yediya Satoru will push up Puravu, and then you go do Puravu. But Ben Azai. He couldn't extricate himself from learning. He was always chayshesh. If he's not constantly learning, he would forget. And because of that, he had a legitimate heter to delay permanently puravu, namely, yediyas hatayra is more important than puravu. I, we say that the rule of oisek b'mitzvah patr mitzvah does not apply to Talmud Torah. It does apply to Talmud Torah. It applies to the mitzvah of knowing the Torah. Once you know the Torah, it does not apply to v'higisay b'yoyim and v'layla. But to Yediyas HaTorah, it applies. So according to the Svara, yeah. if a person was mekayim pruvu, l'chayr, he shouldn't, he shouldn't have more children if he's not Torah the Torah. Son was Makayim Puruvu. Then what? If he's Makayim Puruvu, then what hector does he have to have more children if he's not, uh, if he hasn't mastered the Torah? Well, according to the Tzuchan Acharav, if he hasn't mastered the Torah, he's not even allowed to be Makayim Puruvu. He, he can't even begin to be Makayim Puruvu. But she does, uh, according to Yeshua, right, that a person should always be tired of the mitzvah's peruvo. The chayra, it, it should be an issue if... No, so that means Rabbi Yeshua... If the person is mekhaim the mitzvah, then he's mekhaim the mitzvah, then, then it's more important, Talmud Tara. No, because according to, Rabbi, according to Rabbi Yeshua, there's an additional mitzvah of Baboyker Zerah Zarecha, Ula Erev Al Tanach Yodecha. There will be an, an additional mitzvah to have more what would you say according to this, before someone knows the Torah, that you could push up Puravu, could you also not put on Tefillin? Could you also not sin a Sukkah? Or do we say those mitzvahs, you could always come back to the learning? As opposed to getting married, you can't come back to the learning. So basically, this is the Shulchan Archarav's uh, take on Ben Azai, that, that interrupting learning for marriage is a permanent hiatus from learning, and therefore learning is more important. And Ben Azai basically never reached the stage where he felt, okay, I already mastered Torah, so now I could get married. So the, the Shulchan HaRav learns it's more of a halachic p'tur that Ben Azai had. In other words, he's chayiv in Puravu. He could technically fulfill it, it's just the mitzvah of Talmud Torah trumped it. Rebbe Hanan reads the Gemara differently. Rebbe Hanan is in the Kovetz HaArais, in the Hoysafais, the end of Isa Aleph. Rav Hanan says, he quotes the Rambam, someone who is Choshik B'Toyra, ain't be other Avayin. V'kasha, kivin the hacha irina l'inyan bitta amitzvah l'gamri. Over here we're not talking about delaying Puravu. V'loi l'inyan ichor gredem. Kain maishna Puravu, v'kol mitzvah shi'av shal says naidachem. The tzorach levatum itam tar l'kayim amitzvah. Why is Puravu different than any other mitzvah? Every other mitzvah you have to stop learning to be mekayim. Why is Puravu different? So the, the Rabbi Hanan learns how I think uh, most would learn. Venera de be'emes kahaygavna ina pater mitzvahs per Ben Azai wasn't pater. 
Ela denechshav ka'anos bebitula. It's just that he's an oynas. Like the Rambam says, in biyadayavayin. It's not a sin. It's not that he's potter. Nobody pottered Ben Azai. Vahainu de Ben Azai hoya dovik ko kach betoira. He was so attached to Torah. Shaloha ya yochala siach daiti meno davracha. He couldn't do it. Not potter from the mitzvah, but he's an oynas. He couldn't do it. He, he emotionally and physically couldn't do it. You're like, Ma'asa, what am I supposed to do? I know I'm Chayev, I'm not Potter, but I'm an Oynas. The Arach HaShulchan has a little bit of a different take on this. The Arach HaShulchan is in Evan Ezer, Simon Aleph, Halach Yudalid. He says, Chazal Seyam Ben he never got married. They asked, why? He said, Ma'asa Shanav Shechashka Batayra. So therefore the Rambam paskins this way. Provided she'en Yitzray misgaber alav. So the Archa Shulchan says, by the way, pshita shemadrega gazayna matzah klal klal. It's not really ever prevalent. And even in the times of, of Shas, Ben was the only one who was on this madrega. Nobody else was on that level. And the rift doesn't even bring it lahalacha. And the Yushalmi says, we're mafsik tamatara to build a sukkah, to, to take a lulav, and anybody who learns and he doesn't do it, better he's not created. By the way, the Orch HaShulchan says, Uben Azai gufa aloi kiddush, the Basra Be'ekiva, the Gemara in Ksuba Samach Gimel, by the way, this is very interesting. The very Gemara in Yavam Samach Gimel that says, Ben Azai said, what do you want from my life? Benavshi Chashu Batayra, Samach Gimel and Ksuba says he married the daughter of Rabbi Akiva. And according to one opinion in the Gemara and Saita Da'anam Abbas, he got married and he was Pairish. And you have to say he just could not be Pairish from the Torah. It could be for him it was Sakonas Nefashois, the Archa Shulchan says to be Pairish from the Torah. He was, he, was, uh, he was addicted. It was literally whose life was in peril if he had to involve himself in, uh, if he had to separate from the Torah. What could he do? Not his fault. So the Archa Shulchan says a little bit more extreme. It wasn't just he couldn't do it. It, it, it was literally, uh, adversely affected his well-being. The Rajba, in his Perush on the Agadita on Baba Basra, Chedusha Rajba Agado Yisashas Baba Basra. I think he says uh, the most simple pshat, and that is Mimneisha Dovka Tamenavshay. Lamala, he was always attached above, and that's what Ben Azri said. Ma'asim and Avshi Chazik Batarv Loimer Shabito Menu Koychatayv Mitzadza. He lost the Koyach HaTaiva. For who are Nikar Vashen Chazal Yetzer Hara? That's what Chazal referred to as Yetzer Hara. Ve'ilu haya batal yibam. Basically, to, what's the purpose of getting married? Puruvu. How you make Puruvu? Bia. Bia is only Shaykh if the person is able to... Uh, Execute an act of bia, but if he doesn't have a taiva, then he physically is not capable of doing it. And that's what happened to Ben Azai. Ben Azai's taiva was gone, and uh, he could not execute the act. The Ben Yoyada says a similar a similar thing. He says Ma es anav shichoska b'tayra. He says Adavar yipla esa kedaytach loy markain. What do you mean? What could I do? Dilfit var vivat mikach mitzvah mikol mitzvah sasev shalasik b'tayra. Accordingly, then uh, you. To be Oisik in Torah. The Nirali Bisyata Dishmaya Hakavana Kiha Toira Nikres Toishia. The Gemara says Toira weakens. It's called Toishia. The Mateshas Koichoshaladma. It weakens man's power. The Machaleshas Hachomer weakens the physical. It weakens the physical. Uh, Image of a person, it weakens the physical structure of a person. 
Some people are so connected to Torah that it completely nullifies their that they can't be boiled. That's what happened to Ben Azim. Came out tells you, "Sishon, you actually can't prove what benefit is to get married. You can't be mekayim the mitzvah." May after the battle, kach atayv la gamri. Laza Omer, maesi trufa. What maesa means? What medication could I take? What could I do to rectify? After shenafshi choshka b'tayro, battle men are taking kach atayva. By the way, we once said that um, from the night of Yehuda. That there's an element of pru revu that one is mekayim by learning Torah, one is mekayim uh, pru revu beruchnias. In fact, the uh, Bnei Yisachar wrote a parish on, uh, on the mitzvah. It's called Derch Pi Kudecha, that by learning chidushe Torah, one is mekayim pru revu. That's why the Gemara in Sanhedrin says that someone who doesn't want to teach Torah afilu ubaroi shebeme iman mekala lenoisai. Why would the embryos curse someone who doesn't want to teach Torah? Because it's a form of withdrawing from Puruvu. So Ben Azir says, What are you? That's how I'm a Kayim Puruvu. But then there's a Kabbalistic shot that Ben Yoyada brings from Narizal that he was able to be boire nefashas geirim alide esakat Torah. By learning Torah, he was able to create souls. Interesting. The Gemara didn't ask, um, what about Puravu? They knew he was Mekayim Puravu by learning Torah. They asked him, what about, in other words, when ben, they never went over to Ben Azay, hey Ben Azay, the Torah says Puravu, why aren't you Mekayim the Mitzvah? They asked Ben Azay on his drasha, that anyone who's not Mekayim Puravu, it's like murder. Anyone who's not Mekayim Puravu, it's like Mamayit the Demos. Why didn't they ask him straight, what, about, what happened to the Pasuk in Chumash? So regarding the Pasuk in Chumash, the Ben Yoyada says they knew he was Mekayim Puravu Ben Hashamais. His question was, their question on him was, what about Shefech Damim and Mamayit Bedmus? And he says, Navshi Chashka Batayra. And number one, that guards me. The reason why delaying Puravu is like Shvichas Damim is because one is Maitzi Zara. So, um, but as I said, I learned Torah, that protects me from that. So I'm not Shoifich Damim. And in terms of Memayit Bedmus, that could be fulfilled by others. We'll end off with one interesting tshuva. The Rambam says that at age 17 the Chiyav comes, at age 20 one is Mavat the Mitzvah Saseh. How long halachically is one allowed to delay marriage? I don't know any of you familiar, in a uh, yeshiva I went, they had a rather late uh, shita. Kiyadua in the yeshiva Srabenu Yisrael Meir HaKoyen, the ideal time they say to get married, at least in my day, was 24. Which is which is very late, in uh, in you know comparatively certainly in the Hasidic Shavelt, and even in the Litva Shavelt, they get married earlier, or, or it's attempted to. So where does this age come from? Actually, the Rush, the Rush on the page says that uh, halacha. He said so. This is a tshuva from Rav Vosner. Says We don't have a, something. Uh, an official tradition, Harash Bekadushin Sham Kasav de Mesvara E F Shalomer de Ein Ledavar Kitzva. The Beis Shmuel says you could delay very much, but the Gedolei Pesukim argue on him, and the Chafetz Chaim that says you should not delay until twenty-five. But the Rush himself says somewhere the age of twenty-four. However, that, that's what the Chavaz Chaim says. The Chavaz Chaim says, do not delay till 25, which means 24 is the last time one can say, okay, I'm delaying until this age, and now I'm going to try. But the Shevet Alevi says in our generation, don't delay so much. The Chavaz Chaim himself, at the end of Machine Yisrael, he himself uh, was Makdim, he himself um, encouraged people to get married earlier, 
especially Bizman Azeh, nobody knows what the next day will bring. And who could say that they're, they don't have Herhurim Rahim, especially in our generation where there's so much Pritzos? Pashim Oy Da Pidin Mitzvah Lahakim of Shaz it would be a mitzvah to do it even earlier than that. And I Ben Azai, no, Ain Zeb Ben Nimtsev is not Azai. The phenomenon of Ben Azai is no longer applicable. And even Ben Azai, the Pais can say, if you did it, you're not a sinner. But Lachachila, you shouldn't do that, like the Taz says. Anyway, that's all we got for you today. I hope everybody has an enjoyable rest of the day. Let us uh, see you tomorrow at 10.30. Baruch HaVat Slacha, and have a great day. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.